What is going on YouTube? This is Galactic Bacon. Um, it is August 31st, 2015. Um, I'm going to go ahead and just go ahead and say it. This whole month of August has sucked because we have lost some loved ones on film history. Um, I'm not, I don't even have to explain it. Wes Craven's one of them, but listen, I just want to put that out there because I'm a huge horror movie buff and it just breaks my heart. But anyways, I'm making this because I want to show you my newest setup, which is the twin 980Ti G1 Gaming SLI. And these are on in the uh, Corsair 760T, basically the uh, 760T. Um, it's got the white fans up front with the uh, multicolored course. It's uh, it's not Corsair, but it's a fan controller. Um, this has got blue and white themes, so her nickname is Sub Zero. You're thinking her and Sub Zero that don't mix, but you know what? It's my baby. But I'm calling it Sub Zero. It's blue and white and black. Um, but anyways, I wanted to go ahead and make a video and show you. Um, it's running off of a Intel i7 3770K, overclocked to 4.2 gigahertz, a modest overclock. Um, and on the GPU themselves is a very small overclock as well, which is a plus 120 on the core and 300 on the memory as you can see there um, and everything else I've got a little custom fan profile here as you can see that's what I have I mean everything I'm it's still a work in progress anyway I'm gonna show you a fire strike ultra 4k test and I want y'all's opinion and let me know what y'all think I'm gonna go ahead and play it now um, I've wanted a strong 4k computer um, I just haven't been real sure if I want to upgrade to the Sky Lake or the X99 because, you know, CPUs tend to last a little bit longer than the GPUs. So I just wanted to be more logical and know if I should upgrade. But anyway, this is a 2560 by 1440 monitor, but I am running Fire Strike Ultra, which is going to be in the 4K presets. Um, like I said, I have 120 plus on the GPU core and a plus 300 on the memory. It can be more, but you know, I'm real modest when it comes to my electronics because I like to take care of them. I don't want to burn them out, so I just I take it easy. Plus, you know, with these graphics cards, they would probably work a lot better on a uh, water block. But right now, there isn't a water block available, so I have to work with what I have. But the graphics cards are fantastic. But I just wanted to show you, you know, how smooth everything runs. I mean, these G1s are just absolutely fantastic, man. I couldn't ask for more. Um, before, you know, when the GTX 970s came out, I had some 970s in SLI, and they were great. I just noticed because I ran native uh, 1440p, I noticed a little bit of stuttering. And then after that, you know, they had talked about the uh, 0.5 gigs of uh, VRAM that was slower than the rest. And I could actually tell, you know, when I was playing higher in games like Shadow of Mordor and stuff like that, I could tell things were a little bit different. But, and then uh, I sold the twin 970s. I bought a GTX 980 Kingpin from EVGA. It was a good card, but it, it wasn't what I thought it was going to be because that's an LN2 card. That's something that you want to put on, you know, liquid nitrogen and just have have at it. But realistically, it just it wasn't what people thought it was going to be. 
So the 980Ti came out right after that, and I saw that it was like on par with the Titan X, which the Titan X thousand dollars, and I was like, eh, I don't know if I want to spend a thousand dollars on that because I just spent eight hundred on the Kingpin. So I kept watching, and the 980Ti man was awesome. It was getting you know relatively close, even with a reference model. So the G1 came out, and it was a no-brainer, and that was like matching the performance on a stock Titan X. So I was like, screw it, I'm going to get it. But anyways, I just want to show you right now, these are the uh, clocks that I have. Yes, I know my CPU can be better and my motherboard, which that will be upgraded as soon as something that's logical to jump on. But these are my performance numbers on fire strike ultra 1.1 8278 and that's on a very modest overclock nothing too crazy it can go more than that because my asic score is over 72 for both graphics cards but like i said i'm very modest on what i want to do so this is what i have it's 8,278, and that's on a i7-3770K overclocked to 4.2. I have seen some overclocks with 4790Ks at 8,100 and some change. So, uh, just because you have, you know, the Haswell or whatever else doesn't mean it's going to be a whole lot better because it just, it's a silicon lottery, and, uh, I think this is a decent score for what I have. Uh, we all know the Pascal for next year um, is going to be amazing. But you know what? I just wanted to go ahead and jump on the ridiculous train and go ahead and get two of these 980 Ti's. And that score right there is is pretty decent in my opinion. But y'all let me know what you think, man. I just, I mean, like I said, I'm not extremely uh, savvy as far as, you know, technology goes i'm trying to get a little bit better but i think that's a pretty decent score for 4k settings because if you can see right there 4k gaming pc normally they score at 5500 and some change and that's scoring 8278 so i think i'm pretty happy um you know i've got over a thousand watt power supply so you know with my corsair 760t code name sub sub zero um i think it's it's pretty good you know uh, my main goal is to get a 34 inch ips curved monitor with g-sync uh, that comes out mid-september so that's going to be my update uh, when that monitor comes out so please let me know what you think if there's something that i can do um, i'm going to go ahead and show you my temperatures right here for the ending note this is with hardware monitor as you can see here, my voltages, that's what they are. At max, it hits 62 on one core. And then you have my temperatures on my GPU. It hits 67 on the top card, which actually isn't that bad. And then on my second card here, temperatures, top temperature went 57 peak. And uh, so that's at 99%. And then the card at the top here, utilization 99% at uh, 67 degrees Celsius at the top card. So I think it's pretty good. But uh, you guys let me know what you think, man. Um, I mean, I'm PC all the way. Like I said, there's still so much to learn. But uh, I love the setup, man. It's It just works absolutely perfect. Sorry for the darkness, but she sure is pretty at night. All right, guys, y'all take it easy. Rate, comment, subscribe. If there's anything else I could do different, please let me know. You guys take it easy.